the space I drew was from a childhood memory of me and my grandparents and the church that we used to go to on every Sunday. We had a event that we planned where the whole church went to a bowling lanes. I think it was uh, Erie Lanes. And so I remember that fondly because it was like the first time like me and like my grandparents and like, all the church, you know, we did like an event. And I thought that was like pretty fun. And so I remember, you know, playing bowling and most people were either sitting on the bench, you know, just talking about stuff and having fun. But I do remember the one moment uh, in that era, it was like, it's so vibrant, everybody was active. There was a lot of like, you know, neon lights and stuff like that. And then of course you had like the lights that was like shine over like the bowling pins. So you could see where you, you toss the bowling ball at. And I remember I used to pick up like the heavy bowling ball, even though I was like young and I couldn't really hold like a heavy bowling ball. And I remember just used to picking it up because I thought, well, this heavy bowling ball could like knock down all the pins. And the issue was is that as I went to go like roll the bowling ball, I don't know, it's like the shoes or like the ground on like the bowling when you go like roll the bowling ball, but like I slipped and I landed on my butt. And so the only thing I remember was like my grandmother or like one of my aunts or something like that just laughing because it was like, here I am trying to carry this heavy bowling ball and think I could like actually roll it. But when I was doing it, I was acting like I was like track and field. And so I tried to get a head start on it. But as I slipped, I just tossed the ball without I was noticing, I thought the ball was going to hit. But at that last moment, like the ball just sort of like curved off on me. And so like, I wound up getting like a uh, bogey on it. So. Uh, it was a pretty hilarious experience, but it was also pretty fun. But it affected me because it was a childhood client moment for me only because it was just like, okay, it wasn't church related. At the same time, I got to like bond with these people over stuff that was like non-church related, but you know, hear their words of wisdom and advice about life. One word of wisdom was from one of the church members when I slipped and fell and I got, you know, I, they told me I was like a little bit frustrated with the ball. They told me that in life, you're going to fall many times and that's going to be okay the main thing is that as long as you get back up you keep trying and you keep practicing over and over again until you get it right when you first don't succeed try try again pick yourself up and try again and never give up falling is this natural part of life it's just a matter of you learning how to balance yourself and really just pick yourself up and learn not to make the same mistakes over and over again uh, I remember, you know, the guy just, you know, saying all that, all those things to me and, you know, it kind of stuck with me, you know, ever since then.